What's up guys, my name is Brendan and today I want to teach you everything I know about the Cheat 9. From prerequisites to the technique, some drills that you can do to train and some combos that you can perform. Let's get started. First, I want to go over the prerequisites to the Cheat 9. Before learning your Cheat 9, I recommend you have a solid Cheat setup. The best way to get that is by drilling two prerequisites, the Tornado Kick and the Cheat 7. If you have a strong Tornado Kick and a good Cheat 7, then you have a solid Cheat setup and you can move into the Cheat 9. The second prerequisite that I want to mention is the Backside 540 Round. When performing a Cheat 9, you only twist 540 degrees in the air. The first 360 is the Cheat setup itself. So to understand the twist to a cheat 9, I recommend you drill the prerequisite backside 540 round. Next, I want to go over the technique for the cheat 9. The cheat 9 starts in a backside stance, with your feet shoulder width apart, your arms relaxed in a fighter's stance, and your eyes forward facing your target. Next, take your back foot and step it in front into the front side position. As you do this, you want to lift your arms in front of you and keep your eyes on your target. Next, we want to complete the cheat setup. And to do that, we're going to pivot on our forward foot, bring our back leg up off the ground in a knee, turn to our side to re-spot our target, and bring our arms up in a hoop. Finally, we're going to jump as hard as we can off that base leg while taking our knee and shooting it up into the air as high as we can. And once you leave the ground, you're done your cheat set. Once your set is over, we're going to twist. And to do that, we move into the twisting position. So look towards your twisting side, bring your arms towards your twisting shoulder, and bring your legs together. Hold the twisting position as you spin 540 degrees. And once you re-spot your target, we can execute the round kick. The round kick for the Cheat 900 is the same as the round kick for the Tornado Kick. So pivot your hips to get nice hip turnover, extend at the knee and the ankle to get nice leg lines, bring your arms out to cancel your twist, and move them in opposition as you kick across your target. And that's the technique for the Cheat 9. Next, I want to go over a few drills to help you guys really understand the Cheat 9. I struggled a ton with this trick, but what helped me was by breaking it down into some drills that could help me build up into the skill. So with that said, let me show you guys some of my favorite drills to progress to the Cheat 9. The first drill I have for you guys is vert twisting. Just stand in a backside stance, jump, and do a 180 to front side. And then you can kind of reset yourself and then jump, do a 360 back to backside. Then next time, try and jump to 540 degrees and land in front side. Building up your vertical twisting will help you a ton, especially when learning the Cheat 9, which is a vertical spin kick. Next drill is the switch round. The kick at the end of the Cheat 9 has you dropping one leg and kicking the other one up. To help train that motion, drill your switch rounds. The third drill I want to show you guys is Cheat Twist. So do your cheat setup and then just do as many vertical spins as you can. Make sure you land in a safe manner, but doing this will help you develop kinesthetic awareness and get you used to twisting out of the cheat setup. The fourth drill I want to show you guys is standing cheat twists. The third drill was about getting control when you have a lot of power. This is about getting power when you have no setup. So stand just like you would when you leave the ground in your cheat setup. So be in a backside stance, get your knee up off the ground, and try and jump and get as many twists as you can from that position. It will help you get power when you have barely any. The fifth drill is all about timing. My biggest issue when learning the cheat nine, and the issue that I see a lot of people having, is they kick too early. To prevent that, what I recommend is you drill your cheat 360 rapid round. So do the cheat setup, but just spin 360 degrees in the air. So a little bit shy of what you would for a 540, and then when you land, do the switch round. What this will do is it'll help you get the timing for the cheat nine, so that way you don't kick out too early.